Hi everyone, it's Sadima from Twinkle. In this video, I'll be showing you Twinkle's counted up and down in tenths worksheet and how this resource can be used in several different ways. So firstly, how do you count in tenths? To count in tenths, you either split or divide a whole into 10 equal parts. So for example, we have a whole. This needs to be split equally into 10 parts. So if you were to shade in one of the equal parts, one tenth has been shaded in. As our numerator is one, what we are looking at, one part. And the denominator is 10. And this tells us how many parts make up a whole. If we were to shade in another equal part, so now two parts have been shaded in, two tenths have been shaded in. And this would continue three tenths, four tenths, and so on. This counting up and down in tenths worksheet is perfect for children to practice recognizing different visual representations of tenths by writing the words and numbers. To use this resource, children must carefully look at each diagram and identify how much has been shaded in. As each whole has been divided into tenths, children must identify the tenths shaded in words and numbers by counting and practicing up and down. This worksheet provides students with further familiarization with tenths and an opportunity to count aloud. This worksheet is perfect for children to work through independently. A handy answer sheet has been included to make your marking easier or even for your children to check their own answers independently. If you want to take learning one step further with this resource, why not get children to convert these fractions into decimals? A version of this worksheet with an additional decimal column can be downloaded for your child to use. This task is also available as a digital version. This worksheet can be completed as an interactive PDF. All children need is access to this worksheet, which could be saved in a designated area for children to access or even as a home learning task. The highlighted fields on this sheet are the areas in which children need to complete and fill in. Children must simply click on the area they want to complete, read the instructions and complete the answer. And lastly, why not make this a fun investigation task? You can get children to choose a diagram they have completed and draw and shade in shapes to represent the tenths they have identified. Or even use items that you have around and divide equally into tenths. This is a great way for children to realise that any whole shape, when divided equally, can be split into tenths. I hope you enjoyed this video and seeing how you could use this resource. Thank you for watching and see you soon.